Hello everybody and welcome to the show. And in this video, eggs are almost up 70%. Why are they up? The chicken flu. Now, title of my video, inflation went down. CPI report came out for the month of December. Inflation's down, but economy's worse. Inflation's down, economy's worse, eggs are up, chicken flu. How could this happen? What? It just doesn't make sense. Well, I'm going to jump into some of the stuff and how better days are ahead. But before I do, I'm Sal Capano and welcome and thank you for all my little subscribers. Um, sorry I haven't put out a video in the last couple of days, but I've been very, very busy, uh, which is a good thing with my, my job. So let me break down some stuff. CPI report came out for September at a uh, lower 6.5%. Now in November it was 7.1%. So CPI report came out. Uh, but inflation is down, economy is worse. Now, let me just go over a few things. Eggs, eggs were up almost 70%. I mean, our grandfathers, my grandfather's gotta be rolling. Now, if you eat a lot of eggs like I do, I mean, these are $10 a carton. What's that? I mean, this is like, what? I'm not good at math, 60 cents an egg? This is ridiculous. I mean, what, where are we heading with all this? So I'm gonna break down some stuff um is it cheaper to go out to eat is it cheaper to eat healthy is it eat, is it cheaper to eat fast foods in this video i'm also going to talk about um my final thoughts so stay tuned also a chance to win some coffee in this video maybe i'll give out some eggs maybe i'll just throw some eggs out and pack them real good um all right once again i'm sock bono if you do me a big favor um if you can hit the like button share this video i greatly appreciate it. and all your favorite youtube channels it really keeps us continue on our, you know, our journey and success and help others out. All right, here we go. So CPI report came out, it was 6.5. Again, this is the month of December. Um, so shelter, we are talking about the eggs. Shelter's up 7.3. Now, um, did your power bill go up? I mean, I'm on an equal payment. It just went up $87. Um, food is up 10.4. Shelter, 7.5. And uh, coffee, 14.3. You know, how much will coffee go up where people stop drinking coffee? Think about that. But anyhow, coffee's up. Um, and um, fruit and vegetables, 8.4%. Gas, oil, utility bills, 13.6%. Is it affecting the rich people? No. Is it affecting a lot of us over coming across this video? Yes. Middle class, up, upper middle class, it's affecting. I mean, it will be cheaper to eat healthy. Like, you know, my, I'm a nutritionist. I'm a, I'm a fitness trainer. Um, well, I can tell you this: it's not. It's not going to be cheaper because eggs are very healthy. Egg whites, eggs in general, fruits and vegetables will up. So it affects the people who try to. We won't say healthier people, but people who are trying to eat better with this New Year resolution. But if you go to In and Out, like I did, yes, I'm a trainer. Speak the truth. I had an In and Out burger and some fries. It was like ten bucks. So. You tell me, breakfast in restaurants, they have no choice. Don't get mad next time you go out. That price is going to be up. So, again, inflation's down, but economy worse. Now, this report, <clears throat> stay tuned to this report. Don't go anywhere. People, this is from the general public, what people are thinking. People believe inflation will continue to fall. Well, that's good. Um, but people also believe unemployment will be up 40% within the next six months to a year. Unemployment will be up and it'll be more job loss. This among the general public. Um, it's been proven, Bank of America came out, it's gonna be harder to get um, mortgages. Your FICO score is gonna be harder. People are gonna be in credit card debt. Bankruptcy is gonna be up. And it's gonna be harder to get a car loan. A used car, a new car, is not gonna be as easy as it was. It's always a possibility to get a car loan, even if your credit was borderline destroyed, right? Leave me in the comments below. Um, what do you think of this whole mess? Eggs and chicken flu, I mean, that's part of a chicken flu, but food and vegetables, all the numbers I just gave you. I'll go over them again. Coffee, 14.3, eggs up uh, close to 70%. Utility bills are up, um, what did I say, 13%, 50%. Um, let me know, your electric, I mean, these are all facts. Seven, Energy prices are up 7.3%. Sorry, energy. Shelter, 7.5%. Food, 10.4%. Fruit and vegetables are up uh, 8.4%. These are all, you can Google these. Um, just hard to get a car loan. Now, um, here, here's my final thoughts. Before I go to my final thoughts, I hope, I hope you're having a very positive energy Thursday and a great week so far. 
Um, I will give out <laughs> I will give out a Target gift card if you want to get some eggs. I'll give out twenty five dollars um, to one lucky winner um, in this video if we can reach seventy likes. Um, my little give back. So um, you can go get some eggs. So with that twenty five dollars, you might be able to get it. It's better than nothing, right? Get some eggs, maybe some coffee. Um, and let me know in the comments below, have, what's your cheapest, your neck of the woods, let me know where you're from, where you're living, and where you find the cheapest eggs, just curious, and, and coffee, all right? Um, is it a Trader Joe's, is it a, is it you know an Acme Back East ShopRite, or West Coast Smith's, or Albertsons, or Sprouts? Let me know, or some mom and pop. Now, uh, so here's what I think, my prediction. Uh, I still think inflation will probably go up. I hope I'm wrong, but how do you get it down? Well, there is a way. Labor, what we need is the labor market to cool down. Basically, the labor market can cool down, can start um, trending, hopefully, um, wrong. It doesn't go up the inflation and bring down the inflation. The problem is, why are we still hurting with the economy? So, leave me your comments. Um, I, I just hope that this 2023, I mean, the CPI, we are in a good start. Let's hope that I'm wrong and um, that inflation will continue to drop. But at the same token, we do need, you know, we need, need a better uh, economy. The economy we need to, so again, we need to, uh, the labor market needs to really cool down. We have to have money being exchanged. There's a lot of factors into this. Um, people need a reasonable car loan. People need to start getting back into homes. Um, I do also believe interest rates will go up probably two more times, maybe a, maybe a point, maybe probably close to a half a percent within the next couple of months. E even though the interest, even though inflation went down, is what I'm thinking the feds will do. Now, um, if you are liking these videos, enjoying these videos, and uh, laughing at these videos, again, whoever thought the eggs would be a $10, I mean, close to ten dollars a card and let me know what your cheapest eggs are I never thought and food and vegetables and then is it cheaper to go out to eat or still I still think in the long run in my opinion it's still cheaper to stay home and gather some food but as far as fast foods and healthy food they're probably gonna weigh out the same right now but um, if you're out there dating get your girlfriend get your boyfriend you know what um, it might just be cheaper to go get some eggs and bacon and cook at home. I don't know where we're heading. It, all you can do is laugh. I never thought that um, this was going to happen. Was it most of it because of all the spending in it, pandemic? I, at this point, I don't know. But I do know things have to get cheaper for the middle class to continue to go on. Or people are going to start losing a heck of a lot of weight. <laughs> Uh, once again, everybody, hey, uh, thank you for watching these videos. Say hello to somebody. Tomorrow's another day. There's always a solution on this channel. God bless it.